Hi, viewers. I'm Milind uh, Samant. I'm director of uh, travel and tourism research at TNS. Uh, I think this year was a great year for uh, us. Uh, we presented a lot of thought leadership uh, sessions uh, at the ATM. Uh, one of the key things that we chose ATM was to give a special screening of uh, uh, our 12 country global study travelometer from TNS and we did uh, kind of not the full spectrum of findings but we did care some of the curtain raiser key findings uh, uh, exclusively for ATM. Uh, the rest of the clients in the world will see them later on. Uh, ATM sees it first. I think um, the key theme of uh, ATM this year was mid-market travel. There is a lot of thrust from uh, Dubai tourism uh, as well on the whole mid-market uh, theme. Well, what, what we uh, unraveled was that there are four key uh, tiers of travelers that exist. Uh, so you have the luxury uh, travelers at the top, then you have affordable luxury travelers, premium economy travelers, and the economy travelers. And what we coined was the affordable luxury travelers and the uh, premium economy travelers, these two together comprise of the mid-market segment and that's where the potential is uh, for growth, for growth for uh, mid-market hotels, uh, for uh, Dubai to grow. Uh, yeah, the, the only other side of the coin was um, that uh, in the process, uh, while we do the diversification and a luxury brand is trying to uh, you know, create its appeal for masses, I mean, tra trying to attract mid-market travelers, it is very important that um, the uh, quality of experience of travelers at each layer is uh, impeccable. That's what we found out. Yeah, I think uh, today's session was the great uh, mid-market uh, travel debate. I think uh, what really uh, Imar, Hilton, and uh, me and PricewaterhouseCoopers were trying to discuss is uh, with each of the brands, Hilton and uh, uh, Imar, both trying to focus mid-market with uh, focus mid-market uh, hotel brands, what exactly are the uh, different dimensions of uh, uh, supply as well as demand? Uh, so so how, how do you kind of um, overcome the supply side challenges as well as the demand side challenges? Because they both have to uh, you know, kind of tie up together to create and unlock the real mid-market potential. The Trend, uh, I think we, we already see that one of the, I mean, a uh, few of the fastest growing destinations around the world uh, in the top 20 are, I mean, a lot of them are mid-market destinations. So that itself uh, shows the power of uh, mid-market destinations growing. Uh, but at the same time, uh, it's like, I think there is a room for everyone to coexist. You know, we always have this, uh, you know, thing about luxury uh, hotels, mid-market hotels, economy hotels, five-star hotels, four-star, three-star. I think the, the bottom line is that it's the integrated, uh, you know, solution and offering is what the next uh, trend is. So I think there is a room for every, everyone to coexist and whether it is uh, hotel brands or destination brands, especially if you look at UAE, you know, with uh, all the uh, different Emirates coming together and collaborating, that also is what going to be one of the key themes, you know. Uh, it's not only Dubai that, uh, you know, uh, can do, do it alone. So you have plethora of options that other Emirates can also offer, which kind of uh, completes the loop with the holistic experience that the travelers can have here in UAE. So Dubai comes with its luxury side of the angle and now trying to become uh, more closer to the mid-market. But we have other Emirates who can complement uh, uh, you know, Dubai and each other to create a holistic uh, UAE tourism offer. Absolutely. It's always uh, great to uh, come back to uh, ATM year after year. Uh, this year was uh, also great uh, because, as I said, you know, TNS did put across uh, quite a lot of uh, thought leadership sessions and um, you know, panel discussions. Uh, I'm a avid fan, a fan of cricket. So, you know, in cricket, they say that uh, Lords is the mecca of cricket. I think in uh, uh, travel and tourism, ATM is the mecca of the, you know, uh, travel and tourism industry in this region for sure. You know, uh, uh, there, is, there, there are a whole plethora of opportunities for everyone to, you know, kind of uh, uh, stay under the one roof and uh, network and share thought leadership on the industry.